Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I want to show you three different ways to fix an error or remove an object in Photoshop. I'm gonna do that by showing you how to remove the color and leash from this little puppy right here. Um, this technique will come in especially handy when you're a dog or an equine photographer, but this works too for architecture, nature, portraits, whatever. If you're a photographer, these techniques will come in really handy. So if you're interested, keep watching. Um, so this is the photo that we are going to start with. And what we're gonna do is remove this little color right here in the leash. And we'll end up with this one. All right, okay, leash and color back. So the first little technique I wanna show you is the clone stamp. And this is a very precise tool and this is one of my favorites. Uh, it makes you work really precise and you can remove any pixel that you want to. So we're make, gonna make it really small. We're gonna select this area right here by um, pressing Alt on the keyboard and left click with the mouse. And then we're gonna go over the color right here. And what you see is that it's taking this area and apply it to that area. So we're gonna just select. Oh, that's not what we want. So as you can see, we're adding fur and we are slowly but precisely removing the color. As you can see, um, this clone stamp, this clone stamp is pretty precise, but it is also pretty time-consuming. So um, that's why we're gonna work with the next tool that I really love, and that's the patch tool. And sometimes the patch tool works really well, and sometimes it doesn't. Um, it depends on the photo, the texture, the surroundings of the area that you want to get rid of. Um, yeah, I don't know. Just figure out for yourself if it works or not. Uh, but let's let's find out if it works in this photo. So I want to remove the leash and select, and then we're gonna drag this bit right here. So, as you can see, it cleaned up this part really well, but in this area, not so much. So, you would have to use your clone stamp to clean up this part. Um, okay, so we're gonna go back and I'm going to introduce you to my favorite object removing technique. So, we're gonna go back, clone stamp. And I really love this. Um, again, this is also something that might work perfectly or not at all, but this is the most efficient way to remove an object. And um, if it works well, it works really well. And you won't see that anything was removed from a photo. So let's find out if that's the case right here. So let's remove this. What we're gonna do is right click, we're gonna fill, and we are going to click on content aware. Okay. Processing. And as you can see, it's much more precise as with the patch tool. Um, just this area, eh, don't love it, but it comes off as pretty natural. So let's find out what it looks like if we were to remove this part right here. 
let's just fill. Well, looks quite all right. Um, obviously you can tell that something um, is not completely right here, but it just saved you a whole lot of time. And um, all you have to do now is just clean up for a little bit with your patch tool. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I'm gonna flow like a little bit down. And that's how you remove a lesion and color. And um, this is all just for demonstration purposes. So um, it wasn't done really precisely. Don't judge me, okay? Um, but this is, sh hopefully this shows you how to use these techniques. So what I would personally recommend is starting off with the content aware fill and see what it does. Uh, if it doesn't work at all, you can always try the patch tool or the clone stamp. Um, but what I try to do most of the time is um, use the content aware fill and then clean it up for a little bit uh, with the clone stamp. So I hope this was helpful and if you liked the video please leave a like and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.